Okay. If you're in the, the front couple of rows, uh, what are you thinking there, driver? Well, yeah, I mean, you're really not in the, the most preferred positions because I always wanted to be going forward at the end of this race. And those guys are more in a defensive position trying to protect the spot that they're in so they can make something happen at the end. You just got to get on somebody's bumper and hope that you get the right push whenever the time comes. Lights are out on the pace car as they've come out of turn number four, heading for the tri-oval. Now the pace car pulls pace down. Cars, the fans on, on their feet. It. Time for the engines to roar and the drivers to amp up as we go green. Back up to a little bit. You ready? Start Leaders are lane. If I get e going. Flag. 77th push. 40, just a little. Get the 37 off. Five outside. Five following you inside. Everybody's lined up. Get a 37 pushing. Third okay, line is starting on the outside. outside. Three back. 37 fell off you. Side only. 77 is pushing. Two one. Down the back straightaway on board with Jimmy Johnson. And he's got no help right now. Finally, it looks like uh, the yeah, Martin Truex tucked in underneath him. And then Harvick's right behind Truex. Yeah, Greg Biffle jumped out of there and that kind of messed things up as far as having any help. Four wide and Denny Hamlin's right in the middle of it. We see Sam Horst's car just didn't come up to speed. And Sam's falling back. Up front it is Clint Boyer. Juan Pablo Montoya is giving him the big push. And this time by now, we have two laps remaining. Look at Harvick with this damaged race car. Or pardon me, three laps remaining. Jimmy Johnson's trying to decide who can be more help to him. And, and it looks like it's going to be yeah, Kevin Harvick. Harvick. Kevin Harvick. <laughs> Harvick. Not, not going to be Kevin. Kevin. And Harvick oh, gets room cool. to help wow. him. And all of a sudden, Jimmy's getting shuffled. It's a dangerous spot. You see, he's got Jeff Gordon there. And Gordon to help him. Gordon doesn't have much power to begin with. In and out. Two on the bottom, Four. one on top. This is on dangerous the bottom, for the points top. leader. Tony Stewart coming up in there. Here comes Tony right behind Mark Martin. Almondinger cuts down one. This could still be fine. In and out, in and out. Here comes Harvick for the lead. The battle up front continues. Kevin Harvick with Clint Boyer. They're side by side. Unbelievable. Kevin Two Harvick to go. put this car out front. Three and four wide right side. There's Jimmy Johnson in the mix. On the left side of your screen, the battle for the race lead. Kevin Harvick, could he do it with a wounded race car? Jimmy Johnson's got hooked up with Paul Menard, who's got a fast car. Mark Martin pulled down in front of Menard. Yeah, that kind of slowed their progress. What about, what about Boyer? Is he going to help his teammate here? No, he's not thinking about that. He's thinking about winning the race. He's got look a fast Truex. car on his bumper. Truex and Logano making a run here. Yeah, and they're trying to work the oh, oh, look out. That hole closed up quick. Man, Truex makes a nice save. He got pinched. White flag. White flag is out. 2.6 miles to go. Oh, trouble. Trouble. The big one. On the dinger. On his lid. Side over side. Stay end over it. end. Kevin Harvick's going to win this race. Yeah, that's. The race is official because the white flag was displayed. And Kevin Harvick was he in the, the race flag. lead. <laughs> he was at the. He, he was in the lead at the start finish line, but did he continue to have that? We're waiting for NASCAR to give us official word. Yes, They're looking at the camera results and also the timing lines. And it's good to see A.J. Allmendinger getting out of that damage 43. Here they come around the track under the caution. Well, Richard Childress is going to victory lane. Don't know which car is going to be there. The checkered flag is displayed. And I guess the biggest question in our minds right now is, is it going to be Clint Boyer or is uh, it Kevin Harvick? Yeah. They gave me the checker, didn't they? I don't know yet. Yeah, the checker, they said nothing. <laughs> the teams are as confused as everybody else. Well, it's not necessarily confused. They just don't know because they'll have to determine. Checking it on the video. One of us wanted to... Either the 33 or the, four, uh, the 29 is going to win this, so Richard Childress can be happy. Right now, we show Denny Hamlin in seventh and Jimmy Johnson in eighth. Now, that is all unofficial. 
But if this stands with Harvick winning, the top three will be separated by 19 points. See a lot of cars with damage here. The 83, the 82, and the two. We were ahead of them the whole 14. time straight away. I think he just said 33-29. Still not a I don't know what he said. Still waiting on NASCAR to review all this. They've got loops they go by, then they go by camera angles to kind of decide One. this. When the caution flag flies, it puts a time stamp on every camera and all the loops, so they're reviewing all that data. Just a little bit. Did we win or not? They won't say yet. They're just looking at, they're looking at tape. The one thing we do know, Richard Childress Racing has its 11th win. Still, they do a burnout. At Talladega. Well, Clint's going to say, okay, I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and decide it. <laughs> Pretty sure he won. Kevin said, I'll wait and see. Kevin put the window net down. He's waiting for the official word, just like the rest of us. I think Clint's trying to help make their decision. Yeah, I think he's <laughs> trying to. It's right here in front of the NASCAR people. Well, here comes Clint. And the two of them shake hands as best they can with the proximity of the cockpit. Yeah, I don't know if Kevin Harvick's going to win or going to finish second, but that's an incredible job yet, Billy? with a torn up race car to get himself in that position. And he can thank David Rudiman for helping push him to first or second, whichever it was. Well, Rudiman all day was uh, helping a lot of people, and he did have a great car. And he will get a big thank you from Kevin Harvick. And, and, and what amazes Stop me. Stop right here and wait. What amazes me is we Just talk about right here. how we stop. need aerodynamics right at this here. track, I mean, and then there's Harvick proving us wrong. Right here, man. They don't, we don't know yet. They're, they're doing everything. We're looking over at the NASCAR officials, and they are still examining the Get scoring winning, rules. Winner. 33. The official word is it is the 33 of Clint Boyer. So Boyer will finish first. Kevin Harvick will be second. David Rudiman will be shown in fourth with Juan Pablo Montoya third and Joey Logano unofficially in the top five. As we mentioned, they're now showing Jimmy Johnson in eighth, Denny Hamlin in seventh. Well, the one thing we can be assured of is this points championship is closer first, second, third than what it was when we came in here because we know that Kevin Harvick finished in front of both the guys that were ahead of him in the points. Right now, it looks like Denny Hamlin will be two points out of first place and the 29 of Kevin Harvick will now be 34 points out of first place with three races remaining. Can it get any better? Oh, we've got, we're going to have a great battle. How about Clint Boyer in this chase, too? It's going to be his second win of the chase. Had a couple of other opportunities. In fact, he is the first two-time winner in the chase races. All right, here is what NASCAR is looking at. Harvard's going to lead this at the line. But remember, it is also the scoring loop. Yes. So he's ahead right here. So it's a matter of when this caution is displayed. And see the trouble here. And there, right there, you see Ke uh, Kevin Hart just behind Clint Boyer. Boy, there that was close. That. And the yellow comes out right at that point. And that's how Clint Boyer wins this race by a nose. And let's go back and see what happened that actually ended this race. Jimmy Johnson got out of shape first there. It saves it. And right behind him, everybody starts getting together. Looks like Tony Stewart. Forces Almendinger upside down. Boy, and that, thank goodness the safer barriers on that inside wall. Yeah, and we've seen in past that when something happens behind the leaders that NASCAR has let these guys race back. But obviously this was in an area they would have been racing back to. So they had to throw the caution. All right, let's uh, talk to Kevin Harvick. How about it, Doc? 
Well, Kevin has climbed out of this banged up car that's all patched up and taped up. First of all, let me ask you on that final lap, did you think you had it won? And uh, the, there was a lot of discussion between you and Clint Boyer out here. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know uh, when the caution came out, but I thought we had beat him to the line. It was really close. I just got to thank David Rudeman. Um, you know, he pushed me all day, and, and he was really good behind us, and our car was kind of beat up in the front there. But uh, it was just going to be a drag race there to the end. So uh, we did what we needed to do. We kept it 1-2 uh, in the right house there. And um, just a great day for RCR, a good day for the points, and, and just got to thank everybody from Realtree and Chevrolet. As damaged as this car was, how did you get back up there? I heard you say a couple times on the radio, we can get help with the draft, but we can't pull out and go by ourselves. How did you finally pull out and go? Well, I just attached myself to the back bumper of the 56, and, and I, you know, as, as we were shoving our way through there, we knocked a couple of them out of the way and, and wound up in our lane, and then I backed up to the double zero, and, and we were able to get a good run there. So just a typical Talladega day with a little few dents here and there. You're talking about the points, 34 now with three races to go. You're, uh, you're right there. Yeah, I mean, that's what we came here to do. We came here to obviously, you know, lead some laps and run up front and, and try to win the race and came up one short of that, but we beat the guys we needed to. What a day for Kevin Harvick. This kind of day here is a kind of afternoon that can win you a championship. Marty? You're oh so right, Doc. Kiss from wife Delena. And let's uh, go to victory lane. Clint Boyer is there. There he is. ever restrictor plate race win Clint what was it like that last lap the back and the fourth did not knowing to having your teammate there I see tears in your eyes oh, <laughs> yeah. Man, that's the burns um, just a unbelievable day um, you know I want to thank ECR all you guys back to Indian shop um, you're back on top I'm so proud of you guys uh, that was an ECR win right there. Um, Kevin coming on the outside. Juan pushing me. Uh, I want to thank Juan. I couldn't have done it without him. But uh, just uh, the BBT Chevrolet was strong all day long. Cheerios, Hamburger Helper, Hartford, everybody involved with this thing. It's just so happy with everybody. And uh, have second come home second. It was awesome. I want to thank Sprint and uh, all you fans out there. Hell yeah! <laughs> Glenn, we kept talking about Kevin Harvick and all the damage on his car. You actually had a hole in the front of your car, and they had to spend some extra time and patch it up. How did that change? Well, you know, um, I just wanted to, I, I got into that 47 that was tight back there, and I turned him around and then caught up uh, my teammate. I was sick about it. I didn't know how bad it tore his car up, but uh, as soon as I saw him coming on the outside again, I helped him push back up through there. And just uh, very strong cars, the guys in a fab shop, and especially those boys in ECR engine shop. Thank you, guys. What does it feel like? You won at Talladega, Clint. It feels awesome. <laughs> and he won with his interim crew chief, Scott Miller. His crew chief, Shane Wilson, will be back next weekend. Marty? All right, thank you, Jamie. Richard Childress was part of the very first race here back in 1969. Today, he now becomes the leading all-time winner as an owner with is 11th and we'll dissect it all when we come back.